A very common question about Van Dorn clarinet mouthpieces is what does the lyre mean? I like to tell people that the lyre means alternate version or variation on. So for instance, there is an M30 and an M30 lyre and a B40 and a B40 lyre. The B40 lyre is an alternate version of the B40. It shares a lot of the characteristics, but it's slightly different. The most important thing to keep in mind about the lyre designation is that it doesn't mean the same thing between models. For instance, on the M13 lyre, the M30 lyre, and the B40 lyre, if you look at the dimensions of the mouthpiece, the tip opening is actually slightly smaller on the lyre variation. Uh, versus the regular one, versus the M13, versus the M30, B40. But the opposite is true with the 5RV lyre and the B45 lyre. Those are actually more open than their counterparts. And I would say, honestly, the difference between the original and the lyre variation is not necessarily, necessarily the same in terms of how it plays either. Um, the, the lyre is just a different flavor. It's not necessarily the same between each model. You'll notice that on the lyre mouthpiece, there is a lyre symbol next to the uh, model number and name that tells you whether it is a lyre mouthpiece or not. You'll also notice on the box that there is a lyre. So for instance, a B4013 lyre will have this lyre symbol. And if the lyre symbol is not there, it's just a regular B4013, for example. If you like the M13, you should definitely try the M13 lyre. The same goes with the 5RV and the M30 and et cetera and vice versa. If you like the lyre version, you should also try the regular one. They're fairly close. That's why they share the same item name and model number, um, but they're just different enough that they have to be considered two different models. So that's why there is a lyre appended to the name to make sure that you're aware that it's a different uh, model in the catalog. The first mouthpiece to have a lyre version was the 5RV. The 5RV is a, a, one of the oldest mouthpieces in our catalog, and the 5RV lyre was an addition to the catalog that was slightly different than the 5RV to add uh, something else to the catalog, but to also recognize that it is similar to the 5RV. I encourage you not to worry so much about the specific changes in the technical elements, the tip opening and the length and things like that. It's better just to try the mouthpiece because while usually a more open tip would mean you would need a softer reed because a more open tip has a more resistance generally than a smaller tip opening, that's not necessarily always true, especially when you're dealing with small changes because there's also changes in facing length, which can drastically change the amount of resistance the mouthpiece has as well. So it's best to try the mouthpiece and find a reed combination that works for it as opposed to just looking at the numbers and trying to assume that you can figure out uh, what would have more or less resistance compared to your current setup just by the numbers alone.